Zafin Ali, I bring the video for uh, <coughs> chill water insulation. Chill water insulation because chill water pipe need insulation because we are using a pipe in black steel, usually seamless for chill water. So this is black steel schedule 40 or schedule 80 we using for the, as per the specification as per the requirement of the client. So this pipe is we using a black steel schedule. So we must be you know insulated the pile of the chill water because the condensation. That's why we have to put the insulation. So I have to tell you the chill water insulation. You have seen it the in the original uh, how they insulated the pipe. So I will tell you this is number one. This is basically adhesive adhesive or what you say we here we have to adhesive of poster 81 and 22 this is a number adhesive of poster in union this is a glue yes you put the hair and after that you have to put the insulation and after that number two number two is a basically this is a perform sectional fiberglass insulation uh, okay this is fiberglass insulation this is a thickness like that so thickness as per the specification as per, as per the pipe pipe size so we are you are telling you here what the written here uh, perform sectional fiberglass insulation density is 64 kg meter uh, meter cube so with a frank Weber barrier with the 50 mm overlap for thickness of the C tables so I will tell you that by the table as well so because in table they are showing you know this is the uh, pipe dia and the condition of space and conditional space so this is the basically is the as per the pipe size so number three will become here number three basically number three is a, a, a circumferential band with a 50 75 mm thick cell of adhesive tape so basically you can see it we have to provide a tape this is a basically that is adhesive with the glue tape this is like a silver tape or you have to say like that so put the silver tape like that you know so this this is a tape the putting number three number four is a should be cloth you know this is uh, number four is the o six ons canvas cloth bounded into the insulation with the two layers of adhesive and poster so you have to put the adhesive and adhesive or poster glue I, I mean and this is a cloth or six ounce canvas cloth this is a cloth canvas this is just like a uh, you say this is a small small very thin cloth so we put this adhesive and this one after that insulation and number five I will tell you what is the number five number five is this is adhesive as well so I will tell you number five two coat of the vinyl vinyl based of the fiber uh, Weber barriers poster and 57 and 58 this is just like a you this is a also as well this is a adhesive or this is a poster you say this is what you say white uh, why do you say like you know uh, <clears throat> white color this one just be lapping this one and number six you know this is for exposed area we are using for exposed area we put the cladding as well so you have already seen in the real times so this is the cladding you know this is this you have six mm thing aluminium jacketing rivet rivet say we, by the riveting we have to fix this one top the insulation and seal the joints for a pipe work exposed to the thermal this is just this is when the pipe is exposed to the sun when the pipe is exposed to the sun number six so that time we have to put this one it's like inside of the room or inside of the parking area inside of the office area or above the ceiling and under the roof so no need for this aluminium cladding so if you seen it the outside exposed by the sun so we will provide you this one cladding you know aluminium cladding this is the technical things so chiller water pipe fiberglass thermal insulation I told you this is thermal insulations basically the normal pipe size or uh, if you have a 50 mm pipes or um, conditional space or unconditional space in open area and the conditional space we saying to the inside of the roof inside of the roof in office area uh, room area and parking area this is inside condition area so in condition area we have 15 mm pipe we using just 25 mm okay if we, this is exposed area with under of the under of the under of the sun exposure so we have to provide 38 
mm insulation thickness fiber insulation thickness fiber insulation thickness what is the fiber insulation insulation thickness is a number two number two okay so we have to provide a uh, if the conditional area we are saying what conditional space this is inside of the roof and inside of a covered area and this is the outside this is directly in contact with the sun so we have to provide 38 so 20 mm 25 38 same 25 32 48 this is like the 40 40 mm you have 32 48 the change here and after that you have to come with uh, 65 the pipe dia you have so 38 and 57 you change here of the same is here 100 even up to 100 we have to go same like that 138 66 so 150 you have pipe dia so 38 44 and 66 the thickness of the fiberglass if you have a dia dia of 200 this is 200 this is uh, 44 and this is 68 fiberglass insulation thermal conductivity is uh, this one temperature of density of the this kg this is the specification this is as per the smacna this is per the as per the international standard hope you enjoy this video and you have to learn it if you have a comment you have to comment me and please like this video and if you if you have any comment tell me i will be you have clear the everything uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel this is afrin ali thank you bye bye